What's our framing? Uh, um, pretty tight. Um, yeah, and I'll go even tighter. No, that's fine. So, yeah, waist up. And say something real quickly. Check, sound check. One, two, one, two. Repeating the qu repeating the question and the answer, right? Sort of always, but you're pretty good yeah. at knowing when or yeah. where you're, you know, if you were going to fill us in. Um, tell me your relationship with uh, Piahi or Jaws. You know, my, my relation with Piahi is profound to me. I suspect she, and I, I say that as, as endearing as possible, has probably already forgotten me. <laughs> when people first meet me, I think they are probably underwhelmed with how quiet I can be. Um, a lot of times they see me in a magazine or in a video and so in their mind they think I'm this character, um, sort of full of life doing these big things, but in reality I'm pretty quiet, kind of a man of few words. Uh, I like to use my words effectively and so very seldom Will I just uh, ramble on? List a bunch of stuff that you have done and why you have done all those things. What I've done and why? Yeah. Um, I've ridden on the handlebars of a surf bike backwards. No photos. Never in a magazine, but moments like those are the ones that when I reminisce and I think about, um, they make me giggle, they make me smile. Those are good memories to me. Um, of course riding big waves are, are good memories, but sometimes they're so overproduced and, and serious. And I quite like lighthearted, spontaneous, I love laughing, and um, I mean, when was the last time you saw a guy on a set of handlebars, on a bike, mounted to a surfboard, surfing an overhead wave? I'd never seen it before, so when I put myself in those type of situations, I, I love, um, I love the creativity, I love the silliness, and I love going down my own path. Do you do things to get noticed? Um, there was a time in my life I did things to get noticed, probably more in the 80s, um, but I think that's very natural when you're in your 20s. Uh, nowadays, I like my peers to notice me when I'm putting a lot of effort into something and trying to be very good at it. Uh, that's, that's satisfying, but in terms of really making noise and trying to get the magazines and the credit and, hey, look at me, mm, I, I, I don't like that. Um, people that matter to me, that I surf with on a daily basis, when they acknowledge that I'm doing something well, that means something to me. What is your, what is your fatal flaw, Dave? <clears throat> you know, my fatal flaw is a double-edged sword. It's, it's essentially, I am so motivated by the pureness of, of fun and doing and challenging myself. And, and when I'm motivated by the doing, um, rather than the success of it, um, meaning I've never been motivated by money to a flaw. And at times in life when I probably should have been more motivated by money, I wasn't. And so I am sure I've left a lot of money on the table. But I can tell you I haven't left a whole lot of experiences floating out there. I've, I've done 
a lot more than I ever thought I would. And, and I keep coming back to the, the belief and the thought that there's going to be a day when I run my life through my brain and I look at it and I'm not going to look at my bank account. I'm not going to look at the things I've been able to acquire. I know in my mind I'm going to look at what I did. What did I do? Um, those are the things that matter a lot to me. Like I say, to a fault. Um, you know, if I was more motivated by money, I'd probably be a better husband, provider for my family. But then I know I wouldn't be nearly as happy as I am. And, and, and if experience were currency, uh, I might be the richest man in the world. When all the things you've ever done, why do you do that? You know, when, when, when you ask me why I do what I do in the water, to me, and I'm not being sarcastic, that's asking a fish why he swims. That's asking a bird why he flies. That's what I do. That's what I love. That's what wakes me up every morning at 3.30 a lot of the time. Um, that's what has me down in my little workshop putting the little winglets on my foil because I think it'll work better. I don't know if I would be me if I didn't surf, if I didn't get in the water every day. It's, it's, it's who I am, it's what I do, it's everything to me, I love it, and, and it, uh, it makes me really happy. Why do you think you're not the type of guy that gives yourself a pat on the back? Like, you always, no matter how great <laughs> the things you've done, you, know what? you seem to not give yourself credit. To give yourself a pat on the back, you have to stop. And you gotta reach back. And it's really hard to do that when you're moving forward. And I wanna keep moving forward, right, Gypsy? <laughs> hey, beat it, bud. I'm doing an interview. Is he uh, distracting <laughs> a little bit? Is that a pig? That's Chips. Chips, the not so wild pig anymore, but at one point he was born a wild pig. Now he's a spoiled pig. With a dirty nose. What do you most remember about about some of the amazing stuff that you've done? The one thing that always kind of comes to the surface for me is is the teamwork it took and the purity of, of our enjoyment that we got from it. Um, the magazines, the videos, um, they really love labels. And so they wanted numbers on waves. They wanted exact calculations that they can formulate in their brain. And for me, it was, it was never about a 100-foot wave or an 87-foot wave. Once the waves are over 50 foot, faces they're huge maybe a little more huge but they're huge it's like getting run over by a train that has 50 cars or 80 cars it really doesn't matter if you get run over by a train at all that's what matters and so arguing over the numbers is is silly to me it's 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 pointless it's it's like arguing over well, my flower's more yellow than your yellow flower. Who cares? They're both yellow. Um, what mattered to me was 
or what matters to me is how much did I invest in that moment? How committed was I to that moment? How, how much trust did I need to have in my partner to get to that place where I am riding a giant wave? Did I make it matters to me. Did I ride it smart and not jeopardize only myself, but the rest of my team? Those are the things that mattered to me. Did my board work well because I designed it or I, I put the right input in um, to make it perform in those moments? Um, was my mind clear? Things like that, that's what matters. Not, not if it's 77 or 82 or 99, that doesn't matter. It's funny, when I was in high school, I had a friend named Nathaniel, and he was a good ski racer, and he didn't have any trophies in his house. And I asked him one day, what, why don't you have any trophies? I know you're a good ski racer, I know you win races. He goes, ah. I don't care about the result. I don't, I don't need a, a little golden statue to tell me that I did good or not. I know if I did good or not. And that's all that matters. And that really stuck with me. For some reason that really resonated with me that I don't need a little trinket for everyone to awe at and, and recognize whether I did good or not. I know if I did good or not. And and it's not just the result. Did I put the time in and train? Did I run up that hill as hard as I could and give it everything I, I possibly could? Did I commit myself to it? Um, there's, there's no awards for that. Those, those are confidence. And that confidence is what allows you to do those types of things. And that's what matters. <laughs> That's what really matters, not, not, not something that can be thrown in a trash can. You can't throw experience away. You, you, can't, um, you can't smash wisdom. I can take a hammer and smash a trophy, but I can't, I can't do that to wisdom. I can't do that to knowledge. Um, I can't do that to knowing. And so those are the things, that's what you're driven by. That's what matters. That's what matters. To me, that's what matters. Um, sure, it's great to get a, a cover of a magazine because everyone texts you and, and hey, that's such a killer magazine cover. And, well, you know what? Okay, I got the cover, but there's a gazillion people out there doing exactly what I do, enjoying it at the same level I enjoy it, enjoy it and, and committing to something that I do just as much as I do, they're not getting the credit for it. And, and I get the cover, does that mean I'm more special than they are? Did, did I do more work than they did? No, I got lucky. You know, that's what I got. And so that stuff is fun to be recognized, but you can't take it seriously. That can't be what motivates you. If it is, you don't really love it. Love comes from the doing. Love comes from committing because you want to, not because you have to, not because someone's telling you to. It's because you want to. And that's why when, I, when I'm out in the water and, and a wave's coming, um, a lot of times I'm happy to give it away because I know that one wave isn't going to make or break me, there'll be another one. And what I have found is the more waves I give away, I end up getting more waves. So I don't know if it's the universe trying to say, good job, here you go, or what, but it, it constantly uh, baffles me that when you go out with good intentions, it's unbelievable what can happen to you in return and you're not expecting it, and it doesn't always happen, but um, getting the most, getting more, 
aren't things that I focus on. Um, being happy, taking care of my family, loving my kids and my wife, waking up in the morning and, and being motivated, uh, going surfing with my friends, um, creating boards, designing things, using my brain, all those things motivate me and, and at least in my world, they matter to me. I'm not saying they need to matter to everybody. Everybody's walking their own path, everybody's doing their own thing. Um, by no means is my path the right path, but it is for me. If you could change something about yourself, what would it be? You know, I'm comfortable with myself. I'm happy with myself. But am I perfect? Hell no. <laughs> but you know what? I accept my flaws and realize that it's a balancing act, um, and that's okay. You watch the sun as it slowly crept. Are you proud that you've been able to, From the horizon to the make this a living for so many years now? Are you proud of yourself? Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know. Am I proud of myself for being fortunate enough to make a living at what I love to do? Um, a little bit. I am a little bit proud of that, but not, not much. What I am is thankful that I can make a living at what I love to do. It, I mean, it, it's hard for me sometimes to get my head around. I have managed to squeak out 30 years, more now, of providing for myself and my family off of doing something that I absolutely love. It, it almost, I almost feel guilty about it. To have the experiences I've had and to call what I do work uh, is almost blasphemous. <laughs> So, am I proud of it? Sure, because, because it takes a lot of dedication, it takes a lot of faith and belief, uh, it takes a lot of uh, work, but like I said, you know, using the word loosely, but I am proud of, of the commitment that I have made to this life, because it's It's not for sure. It is scary sometimes how insecure, how, how fragile your life can be as a professional athlete. There are no guarantees. I exist a lot of the time um, and I am vulnerable because of people's marketing ideas and visions and while they might create a vision that includes me they might create one that doesn't include me and just as easily I'm out of the picture and that's a very vulnerable position to be in uh, as a breadwinner um, so it's scary it's scary at times it takes a lot of commitment is it worth it absolutely I would do it a hundred out of a hundred times if I had to do it again wouldn't, not even the slightest hesitation that I wouldn't do this again. Um, but having said that, there, there's things about it that are uh, risky, very risky. You know, getting a 95, while that might be suicide to me and a lot of my friends, um, there's a lot of security in it. You know that uh, where your next paycheck's coming from. That's, that's a lot of comfort in that. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Why are you wired differently? You know what, I think I'm a little bit wired differently. Um, 
not purely out of my my kind of innate character. I think as I started down this path, I was trained, conditioned, weathered um, into learning how to survive like this. Sort of like if you put somebody out into the forest or the woods, it's, it's, you're gonna start figuring out how to make fire, how to make shelter, how to get food, right? Um, you get better at it as time goes by. And what I have learned is that sometimes the further I strayed away from the pack, um, the bigger bounty I found. And, and adventure, uh, taking risks. I mean, you hear business people talk about it all the time. You wanna make a lot of money, you gotta take a lot of risk, right? It, it's, they kinda go hand in hand. Um, only take the money out of the equation for me, put in adventure and fun and experience, and that's my currency. And, and I risk a lot to get it. And it has paid off at times. And because of it, it, it changes your mentality. It changes how you approach things. Um, to not learn what I have learned with as much time as I've spent in the ocean and the lessons that it teaches you, I'd have to be an idiot to not pick up on some of the lessons. Um, patience, understanding that, that there's more opportunity out there than, than just what's in front of you. Understanding patterns, understanding timing, um, recognizing conditions. Now when I say that, I'm thinking uh, the tide, the depth of the water, how it would relate to a foil or how I could drive a jet ski through some rocks or something like that. But that can be used universally in life. Examining any given situation and understanding um, where the inherent risks are, how to manage a situation. All those lessons are out there to be learned and the ocean will teach you. And if you're attentive and, and aware, a lot of times you get those, those lessons for free. But when you're not paying attention, sometimes uh, you learn the hard way. Cool, thank you. No more talking about it The way it is, the way it is It's no mystery There's no getting around it When you're here, when you're here We got chemistry we light up when we ignite We are stars in a darkened sky When you leave Don't forget to remember Don't forget to remember me When you leave Don't forget to remember For you every second To keep your touch, keep your touch In my memory I try not to regret it What could have been, should have been If you would stay with me When you leave Don't forget to remember Get to
Oh, man, that should be illegal. I'm sure they will be soon. That's some good fun. Yeah, that's too much fun. That's too much fun. 